Hello folks, Mike and Charlie here counting down the top 10 tips to survive medical school. As you're probably aware, you've now begun amassing a substantial amount of debt. But we're here to tell you that medical students have found very creative ways over the years of supplementing their non-existent income. So Mr. Davidson, I understand you've been having some sharp pains in your belly. Speaking of which, how'd you like to buy a nice set of Cutco cutlery? Now there are several ways that you can milk your own cash cow. For those of us that have recently welcomed children into the world, you can sell breast milk. Babysitting is always a good option, or if you're more inclined, you could be a full-time nanny. Oh, hello there, dearie. It's good to see you again. I hope you don't mind. It's been a long four years. You can actually put that useless biochem to good use. But nobody knows more about savings than our financial guru, J. Money Brown. Charles, my boy, come on in. I know why you're here. You want to talk some financial sense. Well, I've been spending four long, hard years. And I have a few tips for you guys to save buco bucks during medical school. I got this little guy here. Testing, testing. Testies. <laughs> it's a little medical humor for you guys. The key to being a money saving maven is right here in your own backyard where you have to. Oh! <laughs> and the official tip number one is cut everything in half, you get double. Mmm. Your savings. You eat half now, and you gotta save half. You gotta save half for later. Just pop that in there, and away we go. All right, gentlemen and ladies, come on into the bedroom here. Watch your step. I know it's pretty dark, but I have some uh, lamp light here. That brings us to tip number two. Always saving money with electricity. I never use it. Never. So you gotta pop that here. Over to the bed. This is where the magic happens. I mean, my friends, we play Magic the Gathering here on weekends. It's a blast. But the key to this whole affair, right here. You notice a shiny computer and you say, Jeremy, you're teaching us how to save money. You got like a 15, 17 inch MacBook Pro here. What gives? Grandma Brown on her deathbed asked me if I could have one thing in the world, what would it be? And I said a 17 inch MacBook Pro, so here we go. Always playing online poker, I love it. Love it to death. And I happen to be very good at it. Uh, uh. Um, okay, so that one didn't go so well. Um, but hey, you can't win them all, right? I always have a backup game on my phone. If you'll uh, come outside with me here to the garage, I want to show you another business venture I've been cooking up on the side here in medical school. All right, guys, ride with me on a magic carpet ride to savings here. Um, I, uh, I've been driving Lyft for the last six months. That's uh, usually usually have some have a hit by now. But uh, financial rule number sixteen: at every red light, you got to be checking that poker game because you have no idea what mother time is going to deal you. And uh, okay, well. uh, can't lose them all, right? <laughs> all right, sorry, we have to make this quick stop here. You know, in the really bad months when things are 
I'm looking so good. You gotta take measures in your own hands. Ugh. You really gotta get a tight seal on that, okay? <laughs> if you do it right, you also you don't have to use toothpaste when you go home because it's free mouthwash out of it. Oh, actually, one second. Sorry, guys. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Hey, come here. Hey, you, uh, you medicine? You medicine? You medical student? You want a little, uh, a little pathoma? Hmm? Huh? You want that pathoma? You want that first aid? Come on, a little gold, John. A little rapid review. No, hey, get back here. Well. Those are my tips for success. Thanks for stopping by, guys. It's been great having you. I hope I've taught you something about saving some money in these trying times. Thank you again. I'll uh, see you guys later. That's enough for me. Guess uh, I should stop.